Alrighty guys, I'm going to do a full-on video. Probably going to take a while, so uh, hope you're comfortable. Give uh, people that are out of area a uh, good look at this 1990 Dorado 30. Uh, if you've been reading the descriptions and uh, everything about the boat, then you kind of know the backstory. If not, if you're seeing this for the first time on YouTube, I will try to point out as much as I can. So uh, I bought the boat in 2017. Um, it is one of the original boats from Dorado. I think it's hole number eight, honestly. Um, it was in bad shape. They were, it was a commercial lobster in boat and uh, it needed a complete overhaul. So I did everything that I could to it to bring it back to its original glory and condition. It's uh, sitting on a 2017 trailer and then um, in 2018s when the uh, paint bodywork and all that stuff started. So it is powered by the Volvo TAMD 41B. It is a uh, single turbo diesel, 200 horsepower. Gets um, very good gas mileage, very fuel efficient. And um, has been great after, <laughs> after I fixed all of the um, deferred maintenance, you could call it. Uh, with the boat, it needed a new turbo, and then once I put the upgraded turbo on it, the injectors needed to be retuned. Um, I did the injector cups and seals when I did that. Um, some random stuff. Um, so. Pretty much the end of the restoration was done in 2019. So the... Uh, boat was starting to be used then so the trailer was pretty much not splashed until then um, I've only put 70 I think 70 hours 71 hours on the entire um, boat since I did the restoration so it's not it has not been used that much since the restoration has been completed hopefully you can hear me over the uh, crackle of the birds and the wind because it is very windy today And the trailer is in uh, the condition you would expect, all aluminum, all stainless, uh, five-year maintenance-free hubs. Let's take a jump on board. Actually, sea blaze lights in the back here. And then I converted all of these side markers and the back lights to LEDs, which I will do a video of it at night so everyone can see that. And just so you guys... No, it is April 5th today. So this is a current video. All the upholstery was done, canvas was done, slam latches. The inside was painted, gel coated. The tower is foldable. This awning right here folds down. Obviously the uh, bimini up top folds down and then the whole thing folds back. I will post a photo of it like that. And then I will also post a video of me getting on the boat and doing all of these hatches. Uh, there's storage everywhere in this boat, so um, the video would be way too long if I sit here and open and close every single one of those. You got your Raymarine Axum. Two units, one upstairs, one downstairs. Uh, I just got notification today that the latest software came out today, so I will be upgrading both stations with that. It's got the uh, maps, 3D fish finder, you can control uh, all the gauges for the, um, for the motor on here, and then obviously radio, stuff like that, and even your drone if you have one. So pretty cool setup, that's why I went with uh, Raymarine. I'm not really a fanboy of one brand over the other, but take it what you will so the motor is under here this folds forward like this and then that you can actually prop backwards um, to have access to the full motor to work on it if you need to I replaced that with starboard. It used to be um, aluminum, so I tore that down. It was leaking all over the place, so, and it was corroded, so. 
tore that off and made it out of starboard. See the front there, I'm just opening up the cabin. Two JL Audio 88s in the pods with uh, the blue LEDs in there. Of course the cabin, upholstery was done in here as well. That's the bag for the uh, head units. Cabin puck lights, got the JL Audio amp in here. And I even bought the uh, gunnel lights into the cabin as well to give you some extra mood lighting. I ordered a brand new head. It will be here tomorrow, brand new in box. I'm not going to install it because I wouldn't want to use somebody else's head. It will be uh, attached to a macerator. And there is, well, I'll do it in the other video. There's storage on each side of that, storage under here, um, hot water heaters in this. Uh, bulkhead there. So, geez, six minutes already. Time flies. Um, carbon fiber jack shaft that runs under the floor here, as well as the fuel tank. This whole thing pops off. This is where all your steering is back here. That again will come off of there, and then you can have access to the entire jack shaft and uh, fuel tank. So up here, originally you'll see in the photos. Um, I had a different color teak. Those lasted about three and a half years. So it looked like crap. So I just stripped it all off and put all brand new stuff on here. Mm, not even two days ago, three days ago. So definitely uh, helps with not letting the water through. So you don't have to worry about the water leaking through the um, top on your head below. More brand new cushions and stuff up here. You can get an idea of the view. Definitely awesome driving up here. This is pretty much where you drive most of the time. Again, your, uh, this is connected to the downstairs. So everything mirrors, mirrors my machine downstairs. Uh, Raymarine also allows you to Wi-Fi another um, tablet so you can just hook up to this Wi-Fi and then mirror what you're seeing here on another tablet as well if you need to blow up your uh, fish finder charts whatever so um, yeah yeah your controls all electronic controls uh, like you would see today they actually had that back in 1990 and um, it's very touchy very smooth and uh, Awesome boat, awesome system to put it on. So I will continue to do another video. This one's hitting eight minutes. Thanks for watching.